everyone. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, as we come before you this morning, we come thanking you. Thanking you for this week of prayer that you have appointed, O oh God. We lift you up, mighty God. We thank you. We bless you. We acknowledge that you are integrally involved in every aspect of our lives, O oh God. That everything that you made, you made to glorify you. Lord, indeed, we used to sing and still do sing all things praise thee, Lord. May we, may we praise you with our intellects. May we praise you with knowledge. May we praise you with understanding. May we praise you with our skills. And as we come concerning teachers, O oh God, and the educational system, Lord, we remember from many schools, this hymn, we build our schools on thee, O oh Lord, to thee we bring our common need. And Lord, the sentiments in that hymn still stand, O oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, that you've called us to talk to you about schools, about the people, about the systems, the structures. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name, O oh God. And we want to present our leaders, oh God, because they make the decisions that impact the schools. And even in this environment, Lord, with COVID and all of its ramifications, the things that have been affected, the things that have been knocked out of kilt, we bring everything before you, God. We thank you that you heard the cries, O oh God, of your people, the teachers, the children, the anxieties, the concerns about the exams, and now they'll be convened. And even though there'll be some who may not be ready, Lord, we are praying that you help the children and teachers to cover as much as is needed, O oh God, to stand them in the best stead to sit and pass these exams. Many testimonies come out of adversities, oh God. And so we just pray, Lord, that there will be leniency all around, that, Lord, grace will be poured out, oh God, and that indeed this will, we will see far more success than failure coming out of these exams, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, we want to also remember the resources. Resources have been seriously strained. Many were not able to be exposed to all that they needed, O oh God. But I thank you, Lord, that you have made our little country, little but Talawa, O oh God. And we are resourceful people. And so, God, we pray for resources to be made available we see they're dealing with tablets. We don't know how many, oh God, will be given. Lord God, we see many students on path, and they may be given some sort of priority, but God, there are so many others who may be left out, oh God. We just pray that you make a way for them. And while you make a way for them, Lord, we pray also for the teachers who... God, were dislodged. Some have really lost their jobs because of COVID. Lord, you are the may way, way maker, Lord, and we are asking you to intervene with help, oh God. Father, you know, God, how to shift things, Lord God. Many times we are looking in one direction, but you know how to open doors. And so we ask, Lord, that you remember those lord who were laid off we don't know how long that layoff will be lord but open doors make a way oh god cause them to even pull on skills they never ever realized that they have oh god hallelujah lord we want to remember also the private schools oh god they have found themselves in a bind and they have filled 
such a need in this country, Lord God. And so we pray, Lord God, that even the, the petition that they made to the government, we know the government is under no obligation, oh God, but seeing as, oh Lord, the EU has given us loans and grants, the IMF loans, the EU grants, we pray that something, Lord God, will be put in the pipeline for the private schools. Remember them in your mercy, O oh Holy Father. And God, we recognize that none of these things would be a success if the teachers themselves are not rooted and grounded in your heart, soul, and mind. And so we are crying out to you concerning salvation, Lord, for the unsaved teachers, O oh God. Lord, they make such an impression on the generations that stand before them. So we pray, O oh God, that the, you'll stir up a hunger in their hearts to know the true and living God. Lord, we pray for unprecedented salvations of teachers throughout this school system in this country, Lord God. Lord, let there be a, a name, a record, Lord. Hallelujah. Just as those revivals in the 1860s, oh God, we pray that this, this year will be one such, oh God. We are ripe for revival. Let there be a revival in the school system, oh God. Stir up the ISCFs, oh God, and all the other quasi-Christian groups, Lord God, let them come alive. Speak again, Lord, let the dry bones be stirred, O oh Father God, and let Christ, hallelujah, again be exalted in the hearts and minds of teachers and educators in general, Lord. In the name of Jesus, strengthen the Christian teachers, Lord. O oh Holy Father, give them unprecedented open doors and favor oh lord god cause them lord to be as daniels in their different spheres that doors were open unto them lord favor given so that that which you have filled them with oh god will be dispensed in the highest places lord god in the name of jesus lord let the education system not be the same Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, praise your Father. Let those who are leading God in, in education not just rely, oh God, on the things that men's minds come up with, Lord, but let there be God-fearing people in the highest levels, oh God, in the education system. Lord, you see the agenda, oh God, of certain sectors of the society to corrupt the youth lord through the curriculum but lord in the name of jesus we pray that your teachers will be as hawks eyes and that they will watch and they'll come up with this the, the counter solutions oh god that these things will never take root hallelujah in their hearts and minds of the young people oh god about alternate lifestyles, oh God, or even alternate ways of worshiping. Oh, Holy Father, watch over your word for this nation because you promised that Jamaica would be a praise. Hallelujah. And so, God, we just want to bless you for what you have done this week, what you'll continue to do, what will be unfolded, Father God, as the week progresses. Lord, let your name be glorified, magnify yourself, and we thank you, Lord God, for who you are. Blessed be your name, O Holy Father, as we continue to look to you and tell you thanks in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen.